<laughs> oh, and that's how broken it already. All right, we got our we got our sand turtles. We're gonna use some for fishing. I'm gonna take some home and fry it up to see how it goes. Stay tuned. This episode of Fishing Crew! You gonna go in this way? What? I'm gonna try to scoop them over here. So today we're gonna be catching sand moles, or as commonly known as sand fleas, sand crabs, or in Hawaii, some people call them sand turtles. Sand moles in general have only about 10 different species worldwide. They can be found throughout the Hawaiian Islands, Indonesia, part of the US, Thailand, India, Africa, and Australia. These crustaceans reside under the sand near shore breaks, feeding on plankton and any other organic matter it can find. Females can grow up to an inch and a half, while the males only grow up to an inch in length. Hey, only three. Uh, okay, let me check one more time. Within seconds, these crabs can burrow themselves in the sand up to one foot in depth. They do so to protect themselves from shoreline predators, such as trevallis, bonefish, and all the other crustacean-eating predators. Where, where? Left, 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 left. There, perfect. Ah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> This is a popular snack in parts of Thailand and India, and recently in parts of the US. It has a nice distinct flavor similar to that of crab or shrimp, with the texture of a soft shell crab when it's cooked. Let's go! Oh, there's so much back there! This unique looking ocean creature makes for a nice tasty snack. Nice food, nice food. All right, we got a handful of sand molds. We're gonna try to use some for fishing, see what we can catch. And the rest, we're gonna take it home and fry it up crispy and see how it comes out. Stay tuned. All or nothing, baby. This is what F&G is all about. How's it going, guys? We got to the beach now. We got our sand molds and we're about to see what can we catch on a fishing pole. Stay tuned. Here we go, first time turtle is going to go in the water. Let's try casting them. Right, well it looks like we didn't have much luck today over here at the beach throwing some pole with the sand moles. No luck today. Uh, at least we got our snack in the bucket. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> yep, about to go home and cook up the rest now. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be our first time eating these. All right, welcome back everybody. We're back home, we didn't have any luck fishing, but we got the sand crabs, this is our main target. 
So we're gonna fish them out of the bucket. We're gonna rinse them off. We're gonna season them up a little bit, fry them with some oil. Let's see how it goes. So we want to pick them out individually, shake them up. We don't want to be chewing on sand and all that like that. So let's get this started. Regular vegetable oil. It's good for making things crispy. This is what is next up on the menu. Okay, some pepper. Some garlic salt. Because some flour on these guys. Sorry guys, it'll be over soon. Oh, we can't get any fresher than this. Season up, still kicking. Yeah, ready to go. Ready to go. So I like to add chili pepper flakes to add a nice kick to whatever you're cooking, in this case sand molds. And it can give you a nice indication of how the oil is. The thing is about ready to go. In it goes. You see instantly they're turning orange like a regular crab would do. So we're gonna go probably a few minutes only. That should just be about enough. Then we'll take them out and we'll see how it goes. Stick around. Oh, it smells like crabs. That's nice. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We have our finished product here. Fried crispy sand turtles, aka sand fleas, aka sand moles. Fried crispy and flour, garlic, salt, and pepper. Sure, it tastes like a crab, right? Crunches right through. Has a nice ocean flavor to it. Very good. Double stash. <laughs> and with that side, wild gorilla pickled ogo. You know, this is straight gold, everybody. If you don't know, now you know. Hmm. Wow, this is pretty good. Mm. Better than I expected, for sure. It's good. It tastes like crap. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a popcorn. It's like chips. It's like chips, yeah? Yes, like chips. You want to try? Just eat what? Just chew it. Just chew it straight through. Eat the whole thing. Perfect. Mm. Is it? You like them? Oh. It's like fish chips, yeah? Oh. Dad, let's try one, Dad, for the video. Smaller, you broke me apart. Yep. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> wow. Not <laughs> bad. <laughs> Tastes like crab, right? Oh, Crunches yeah. through. Smash you up and chamo and most of Oh. <laughs> the <See>? next episode. Come up with me. Well, it's small. One. Wow, it's good. Big one now. <laughs> Wow! Not bad. Right, surprisingly. <laughs> I would buy that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Imagine things we could do with it. It's like something you could buy from the store, yeah? Alright, we just about finished our bowl of sand molds. It was fun to catch, it was fun to eat, and it was surprisingly delicious. Tune in to the next episode of Fish, Fish and Grills. Grills. Mm. <laughs> Well, at least they had a 
good amount of time in the bucket to poop out stuff. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs>